good morning today we will discuss uh, mains questions related to quant so there are two questions are there one is related to pie chart see question number 1 to 4 study the following pie chart carefully to answer the questions the following pie chart shows the where the public money was spent by the government in the year 2016 and 17 now there are some schemes are there sponsored scheme sector scheme interest payment defense subsidies finance commission and state share uh, taxes if you come to other one sponsored sector scheme interest defense subsidies finance commission so the first one is 2016 and next one is 2017 so clearly this is of 2016 this is of 2017. Now let us see the question. If the total money spent, if the total money spent uh, in the year 2016 and 17 was 850 billion and 1250 billion respectively, which category shows the maximum difference in 17 and 16? So, in which category we can see the maximum difference among the given sector. So, if you clearly observe the both the pie charts, see there are different heads. If you clearly observe the pie charts, here in this one we are having state share of taxes 21 percent which is the highest, state share of taxes here 23 percent. So, clearly you can observe the maximum difference in this part only by observation you can tell the answer here this is 23 percent here this is 21 percent remaining all are very less see this is 12 10 11 20 8 12 6 now coming to this one this is also very less so if you clearly observe by observation you can tell it is state share of taxes 3 is the correct answer no need to do any calculation also let us see the next one if the money is spent on other expenditure in 2016 on sector scheme in 17 or 168 billion 168 billion and 192 billion respectively what is the difference between the money spent in 16 and 17 now see this question if the money is spent on other expenditure in 2016 <coughs> 2016 other expenditure we are having 12 percent 12 percent that means it is given 12 percent equal to 168 we want total money total money means 100 percent is how much that is 100 by 12 into 168 12 ones to 12 fours you will get 1400 so this total is 1400 now and sector scheme in 2017 that is 8% sector scheme we are having 8% 8% is given 192 8% is given 192 we want total total is 100% so 100 by 8 into 192 8 to 16 8 fours so you will get 2400 this value you got 2400 this value you got 1400 what is the difference between the total money spent in 16 and 17 so difference of 2400 and 1400 is 1000 billion so 2 is the correct answer let us see the next one if 84 billion was spent on state share of taxes in 2016 the amount spent on subsidies and sector scheme is what percent less than that of defense and interest payment and finance commission. So here in this particular question we are talking about 2016. So no need to take the 84 billion also just uh, you see the amount spent on subsidies and sector scheme. Subsidies we are having 12% sector scheme we are having 11 so total is 23 
then defense and interest payment defense regarding the same pie chart defense is 8% interest payment is 20% then finance commission finance commission will be 6% so 8 plus 20 plus 6 that will give 34 so one value is 34 one value is 23 the question is 23 is how much less than 34 23 is 11 less than 34 so 11 by 34 into 100 or you divide 1100 with 34 that will give the answer so all of you divide 1100 with 34 34 3 is 102 then 34 2 is 68 then 12 then 120 34 34 3 is so we will get 32.3 something we can round off to 32.4 next question if 126 billion was spent on finance commission in 2016 the amount spent on state share of taxes is what percent more than that of defense 126 billion was spent on finance commission in 2016 so finance commission means 6% it is given 6 percent value is 126 now the amount spent on state share of taxes is what percent of defense state share of taxes we are having 21 it is 21 it is what percent of defense it is what percent more of defense that is asked so here also no need to take this 6 percent just you can see by observation state share of taxes for 2016 so state share of taxes we are having 21 defense we are having 8 21 is how much more than 8 that is 13 so 13 by 8 is how much so all of you know 5 by 8 is 62.5 here we got 13 by 8 13 by 8 means 1 plus 5 by 8 so that will give the answer 162.5 here also no need to do any calculation also let us see the next question 5 to 8 study the following information carefully to answer the given questions in Dayalbagh University Agra there are 5200 students in five different faculties that is faculty of engineering faculty of science faculty of commerce faculty of education and arts so these are the different departments out of the total girl students in the university 27 percent study in faculty of engineering 22 percent study in faculty of commerce 16% study in faculty of science, remaining 840 study in faculty of arts, faculty of education has no girls, out of the total number of boys in the university, 14% study faculty of engineering, 30% study in faculty of commerce, 25% study in faculty of science, 11% faculty of arts, remaining study in faculty of education. See here we are having different uh, departments this is called as the data analysis question we are having different departments first of all uh, departments are there then we are having girls then we are having boys then we can take the total so girls boys and total like that you can take girls boys and total department girls boys then comes the total below the department see you follow this order first one we are having engineering next one we are having science next one commerce next one education last one arts and next one should be total Okay, now let us see. First of all, out of the total girls, 
27 percent, 27 percent study in faculty of engineering, 22 si commerce, 16 faculty of science, remaining 840. 27 plus 22, 49. 49 plus 16, 65. Remaining will be 35. So, 35 percent equal to 840. Therefore, 1 percent equal to 840 by 35. So, 35 twos, 35 fours. So, 1 percent equal to 24. Now, how to calculate engineering? It is 27. So, you calculate 27 into 24. 27 into 24. 4 7 28 10 14 it is 648 engineering we are having 648 girls now commerce 22 so 22 into 24 24 2 is 48 it is 528 528 that is in commerce sorry commerce 528 commerce you are having 528 girls then if you come to arts sorry science 16 percent so 24 into 16 that is 16 4 64 384 then faculty of education has no girls so education zero because no girls then remaining 840 in faculty of arts that will give total girls. Now, if you calculate the total, see 1 percent equal to 24 means 100 percent will be equal to 2400. So, we got total girls 2400. Out of 5200, 2400 girls, remaining 2800 will be boys. Now, out of the total boys, 14 percent study engineering, 14 percent study engineering. Now, you have to calculate 2814 percent in 2814 percent means 28 into 14 14 8s 1 12 22 39 it is 392 boys they are studying engineering 30 percent study commerce 30 percent study commerce means 30 into 14 is 420 420 they are studying in commerce 25 percent study in science so 25 into 14 14 5 70 it is 350 350 they are studying in which department science 350 boys they are studying in science now 350 boys so not 350 we have to multiply with 28 so, this is wrong. Okay. Now, you have to multiply each and every number with 28. 14 percent in engineering, then 30 percent in commerce. 30 percent in commerce means 38 into 20 because 2800 boys will be there. So, that is 840. 840 they study in commerce, then 25. 25 into 28. If you do 25 into 28, that will give 700. These 700, they study in science. They study in science. Then 11 percent. So, 28 into 11. What is 28 into 11? That is 308. 308, they study in arts. 308 boys, they study in arts. Remaining, they study in which one? Education. Remaining means if you do the total, see if you do the total 14 plus 30, 54, 54 plus 25, that is 79, 79 uh, plus 11, that is 90. So, if you do this total, if you do this total, 14 plus 30 plus 25 plus 11. So, if you do the total 5 plus 1, 6, 10, 2, 4, then 7, 8, 80 percent. Remaining will be 20 percent. They will be studying in education. So, 2810 percent, 280, 20 percent will be 560. 
So, these are the different departments. Now, you have to do the horizontal calculations also. 648 plus 392 will give that is 1040. 700 and 384 will give 1084. 840 and 528 will give 1368. This is 560 only. 840 and 308 will give 1148. Now, based on this table, we should answer the given questions. Let us see first question. If the number of boys in faculty of science is increased by 20 percent, boys in faculty of science that is 700, see this is 700. This is increased by 20 percent, this should be increased by 20 percent and faculty of arts increased by 25 percent, 60 boys taking admission, we have to find only increased number of boys. Then in that in education number of boys students in faculty of engineering and commerce remains same, what is the percentage increase, you have to take only increased value. So, in faculty of science it is increased by 20 percent that is 140. Then boy students in arts, in arts how many students are there, 308, it is increased by 25 percent, so into 1 by 4, that means 4 7s, 28 and 4 7s. Now 60 new boys taking admission in faculty of education, in education 60 new boys are taking. So overall how many students are taking the admission, 277, whereas engineering and commerce remain the same. Now this is the increased value this increased is what percent of the number of boys, we are having number of boys, how many boys are there, 2800, so 277 is increased over 2800, so into 100, we will get 277 by 28, 277 by 28, we can do with 9 times, 9, 8, 72, 25, now 250, now 8 times. So, you will get 9.8 something. So, answer is 2. Answer is second one. Next one. Let us see the next question. <coughs> the number of boys studying in faculty of commerce and faculty of science. Boys in commerce and science. Commerce 840, science 700. So, total 1540. 1540. It is what percent of total students studying in two faculty. So, science total faculty is 1084 and we are having this uh, commerce 1368. You have to do the total 12, 15, 4, 2452, 2452. Now, the question is 1540 is what percent of 2452. 1540 and 2452. So, let us uh, do the simplification with which number we can do with 4 I will try. 4 3 is 12, 4 3 is 12 then 34 means 4 8 is 4 5. Here 4 6 24 then 4 1 4 3. So, 385 by 613, 385 by 613 into 100. So, you have to do this calculation, 38,500, I am dividing with 613, here 6 to 38, so 6 times, 613 into 6, 18, then 7, then 36, 3, 6, 7, 8, 10 minus 8, 2, 14 minus 7, 7, then 1, 17, 20, now 2 times, now you will get 2 times. So, approximately you will get 62 something, approximately you will get 62 point something which we do not have none of this, none of this is the correct answer. Let us see the next question. If the number of girl students, if the number of girl students in faculty of science drop out, drop out means decrease. Then 
boys also if equal number of girls and boys are dropping out in faculty of science if you see faculty of science boys are 700 then girls will be 384 as per the table now equal number of students are dropping out so boys how many students boys how many are dropping girls also same then after dropping the boys and girls ratio is becoming 149 is to 70 what is the total number of students studying in science who are dropping out from the college this one you go by options let us take first option 208 so in this 208 there will be boys and girls equally that means there will be 104 boys also 104 girls so what is 700 minus 104 since 104 are dropping 700 minus 104 you should take so 700 minus 104 it will give 596 that is about boys girls 384 from that if you subtract 104 you will get 280 now is it equal to 149 is to 70 that we should check i am doing with 4 4 14s so i am doing with 4 how many times 4 14s 56 4 9s this one 70 so you are getting the answer if you take the first option that is 208 so total students dropping is 208 in this boys are 104 girls also 104 because equal number of students are dropping now let us see the last question if 92 boys students of faculty of engineering are transferred to faculty of arts and 70 girls students of faculty of arts are transferred to faculty of engineering what is the ratio of boys to girls in faculty of arts we have to take only arts now let us see first line 92 boys of engineering they are transferred to arts see boys engineering how many are there 392 in this 92 boys they are transferred to arts already arts how many are there 308 for 308 now 92 will add so now arts will, boys will be 400 arts boys will be 400 next 70 girl students from faculty of arts faculty of arts girls how many are there 840 now how many girls uh, they are transferred to engineering girls arts to engineering that means from arts we should minus how many 70 then now arts uh, girls are 770 arts girls are 770 now what is the ratio of boys to girls that means 40 is to 77 option 2 is the correct answer option 2 is the correct answer okay tomorrow we will discuss the uh, mains questions related to english topic